here we go okay so nishit so we'll get started with just introducing you first of all so maybe you can just uh, uh, just say like what exactly that you're doing uh, before this program so uh, what's your job role and what's your uh, what you do and then uh, we'll ask a couple of questions regarding this yep yes nishit yeah i can go ahead so uh, yeah hello uh, sir so i'm uh, my name is nishit jaiswal and i'm uh, working in the uk uh, so prior to joining the session what motivated me joining the session was that i completed my masters in artificial intelligence um, over here in uk and uh, uh, because uh, a lot of things are not covered in the college curriculum and uh, um, the mlops things which is there those are the advanced things which you will never find in uh, a college unless you work for an organization which is working on that so that was the one thing which i wanted to learn on uh, most of the cloud platforms and this course was quite good because we were covering like mo- all the major three cloud platforms which was there so uh, that was the kind of uh, thing which excited me most about this thing that uh, anyways we are going to cover all those things and uh, like work wise over here i am right now working in um, nhs mm-hmm. um, so i started my um, actually I have been working for like almost more than five years. Uh, previously, working for a big uh, IT publishing company. Okay. Uh, so, start as a, um, cat- a category manager over there for IT publishing um, um, courses and books and all those things, and then moved into a data engineering role. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, pre- and then, like, I came here to do my masters. Oh. After that, I worked. on small term contracts with uh, uh, IBM and uh, NHS also I was working on contract only now i have moved into full term uh, uh, role into NHS as uh, an analytics and reporting manager got it got it Perfect. and now we are like slowly looking into like uh, look uh, what we can do like implement a little bit of uh, machine learning or forecasting kind of thing got it over there perfect uh, which yeah. i think the first point uh, to look into uh, things so that's how uh, my uh, career so far is going perfect uh, yeah so yeah thank you so much for adding that and uh, thank you so much for pulling up our courses also there so my first question that i would like to ask probably as yes, you have uh, uh, we have almost uh, i mean so you have registered for our advanced uh, i guess advanced or maybe advanced plus i'm not sure which which one but yeah. yeah so like you have this twice the opportunity to take the program so you have completed our uh, first batch for you and you might be taking another batch as you mentioned and probably yes uh, you are covered most of the uh, curriculum so what do you feel like about our curriculum so as you mentioned yes we have aws as you gcp where we are covering both devops tools and mlops tools and we also cover uh, open source tools over there so what do you find like do, do you like this structure of a program i mean uh, considering like okay uh, what we what we are doing on every weekend and again if necessary like okay we are connecting in a debugging sessions especially so how do you feel about that uh, basically so is that really benefited for you or not yep. yeah uh, yeah actually this uh, way of moving forward is quite good i mean a lot of time it happens uh, like uh, when we are in the course uh, Uh, we may lag behind on doing certain things on our end yeah. so debugging se- uh, session helps in that way that uh, we can okay get up uh, go back at uh, what we have missed and uh, or uh, what we were lagging and to come up uh, based on that so the debugging sessions yeah those are always help- helpful okay um, and uh, the sooner we get the uh, things resolved the better it is got it got it Yeah, thank you so much. And so, do you find this uh, session is informative and enjoyable? I mean, considering about the trainer who is teaching you, like, okay, is that not boring? Like, you guys are like, okay, not uh, sleeping. Is that fun? Like, and again, so whether uh, like a trainer could able to answer your questions uh, properly, like in the meantime. So, what do you feel about that? Yep. Yeah, uh, I uh, like uh, enjoyed your sessions. Okay. Being <laughs> the train over you <laughs> yourself itself, but yeah, I, I think like most of our uh, queries and uh, concerns which were there, the, yeah. those were addressed. Got it. And uh, yeah, uh, initially I think like uh, maybe if uh, um, I think someone from uh, like uh, for me like uh, was coming from like just finishing a uh, a master's program and not uh, very much into uh, Uh, hands-on with the MLOps things. Got it. Yeah, 
at one stage it is might be like uh, once we go through mlop tools and mlops journey and all the life cycle of it like at first instance it is like okay there's a lot of tools lot of tools but yes. uh, once yeah. you, <laughs> exactly but uh, i think like uh, once you get on to start doing things yep uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we get to used to it. Uh, uh, if we haven't heard of like things before, so then it becomes like okay, this is quite a lot. Exactly. But uh, when we start doing things, then it actually becomes we stage by stage understand things. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. And let's say okay, and go back and revise my course again. <laughs> okay. Perfect. I mean, uh, one more question that I would like to answer, like um, uh, uh, which I need an answer. Like, if someone is uh, looking forward for an M- learning an MLOps, maybe in your friends and network, like who is looking forward, like, do you like recommend them for our program? Uh, so, yeah, that's what I just want to ask. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, like, uh, I'm open to uh, recommend uh, to a few of my friends, but uh, like, that's. Uh, up to them like uh, yeah obviously that's uh, that's up to them i mean so do you have that yeah. uh, just a mindset like you have like a uh, free in that that's why i just want to ask okay do you think like is there anything that you like to improve us like let's say where we can okay sharat you can do this maybe it would really benefit it for the people so can you can do this is there anything that you want to suggest us maybe we will like to really carry forward uh, thinking about that one in our next batch too yeah mm, um um actually right now i cannot think of a lot of things like okay. uh, what could be improved because uh, i like the course and uh, the thing was like uh, i won't say any improvement right now at your level but yeah in the second course uh, the ne- uh, new course which are coming up yep. i think like you've added uh, more things into it like airflow and other things exactly which is so a, a good tool and uh, quite a demanding tool especially in the data engineering kind yep. of uh, yep. domain with so uh, yeah i think like uh, those things the improvements i think uh, without saying you are implementing those okay. improvements yourself okay thank you so much yeah so that's it pretty much i guess uh, you have covered most of the stuff uh, when you are introducing yourself and uh, thank you so much for subscribing and again uh, we would like to give a same quality of a delivery of a content maybe in a next batch that you going to also take thank you so much and saying that i will just uh, stop my recordings right now